We were so lucky to find Harris, who took us to his family run Taverna, Osiris, where we met his sister Chrissa and their mum, the energetic ball of enthusiasm, Fanny. Hello. This is what we're looking for on our Peloponnese trip, a family who have shared a tradition over generations and how perfect that their tradition is honest Greek food. The Osiris Taverna has been quietly plying its trade in the beautiful Pronia district of Nafplio for over 20 years. It's well off the beaten track and serves gorgeous Greek cuisine. Fanny happily agreed to teach Blair and me a classic Greek dish. Let the mayhem ensue. Well, we've ended up being really lucky. Here we are with Chrissa and Fanny, and you're going to show me how to make real dolmades. So, she's, must. Go ahead. It's, it's minced beef and yes. grated onion. Mm -hmm. Dill, chopped dill. Yeah, and then uh, dried spearmint. Break oh, it up going amazing. in. They yes. tell me they've been watching cooking no. shows, so no. even though we, they weren't expecting us, they huh? prepared huh? this and came yes, out. Yes, yes, yeah? go ahead. Okay, Pepper. yeah, salt. Two types of rice, white and yellow. And why is yes. it white and yellow? Because the white absorbs more liquid and the yellow one does not allow the, uh, the stuffing to become yeah. mashy. And then some olive oil, olive of course. Olive oil. Yes, yeah, mm. of course. olive oil. Beautiful. You can see that winter's on its way because here are some quinces. And quinces are a real sign of winter. So they're pretty early, I've got to say. Um, and some really, really, really fresh walnuts. They're so fresh, they still feel damp. So they're known as wet walnuts, but really, really fresh. Massive tomatoes. <laughs> Just massive. Our next market delicacy was something a little unusual. Sausage with orange peel. Let's taste it. Here goes. Oh. The orange is lovely. It lifts it, it stops it being so heavy. It gives it a beautiful, fresh zing. It's really dense too. It's all meat. There's no filler in that. That's why you have to chew so much. It's all meat. This is one great sausage. Blair, look how small this fort is. Now, after the Turks got control of the fortress, the remaining Venetians, 1,500 of them, came in here, and this is where they sought shelter. I guess there were other floors up there, but they were put to the sword, and every last one was killed. What's interesting about this Venetian fort in comparison to a lot of the older forts that we've seen is if you just look over there, you can see a gap in the wall where it's fallen into the sea, and in between is a whole mass of earth. Now that's because with the rise of the cannon, there was a real need to reinforce the walls. So what they did, they filled it with the earth to um, soften the impact of the cannon fire. And it must have worked, because a significant portion of the wall is still standing today. Now, a little bit later, um, I've organized, and I didn't tell my mum, because I know she'd never approve, but you can bungee jump over the Corinthian Canal. Apparently the drop is actually it's going to be 79 metres from top to bottom with a free fall of about four seconds. Okay. Hands out and five, four, three, two, one, and go! Right, you can't describe it. It is, it's an, a numbness, it's a, a nothingness, it's a, a euphoria, it's outrageous adrenaline. That's what it is. We 